So here's a question I have for you. How many monitors is enough? Is it two? Is it three? Or is it four? And I think it really comes down to the type of work that you're in. And I wanna show you a little bit of a setup that utilizes four monitors. And the way to do this is by using the ASUS ZenBook Duo, which already has two displays, and pairing it with the JSOX Flip Go. Now they were kind enough to send this out and partner on this video, but I feel like this is a great setup for someone who like day trades and wants as many displays possible when they're traveling or even at their office or even like a video editor. And if you buy the Flip Go, it's essentially a two times 16 inch displays in a form factor that's this small. Now, if you are purchasing it in the box, you'll get the start guide. You'll have the Flip Go itself, which comes with a cover to protect it. You're gonna have a 65 watt charging adapter, which can be used here in North America and also comes with two converters for the UK and Europe. You also get a type C cable and a micro to HDMI cable. Overall, the Flip Go only weighs about 1.6 kilograms, which is not that heavy. It's like a standard size for a normal laptop. If you wanted something smaller, JSOX is working on a 13.5 inch version. That one will weigh about 1.1 kilograms. Now the build quality feels really, really good. Like they're using some sort of magnesium alloy on the outside. It doesn't flex when you're pressing on it. Because it's a black anodized aluminum, you're obviously going to get fingerprints. It's good that they put the hinges on the outside of the product because this way when you open it up completely, it lies 100% flat. If you take something like the ZenBook Duo, for example, the hinges are not on the outside, which means you have two different levels, which doesn't offer a very flat, cohesive look, whereas this guy does. These are matte displays, so it's gonna reduce the amount of reflection if light hits it. When you have it closed, there's also a little lip on the bottom that allows you to open it up with one hand, very similar to a MacBook Air. There are a bunch of ports on this. So for example, on the left-hand side, you have a button over here that switches between two different modes. Duo view, which allows you to use each display independently, or ultra view, which combines both displays as one giant display. You have your display port, which allows you to connect to your Thunderbolt port on your laptop. You have another Type-C port, which I use to charge the JSOX Flip Go, which will then also charge the laptop at the exact same time. And then you have a HDMI port if you wanna use an HDMI connection. On the other side, you have your power button to turn it on or off. You have a menu button, which allows you to change things like your brightness, another Type-C port, and two USB-A ports. These three remaining ports act as a hub. So if I have the ZenBook Duo connected via USB Type-C, I can connect things to these ports over here and my laptop will recognize it. So I can have a mouse, a keyboard, maybe an external SSD. It will all be connected to the main laptop. The other thing to note is that there's a massive magnet on the top back over here and also on the bottom. Now the big question, how is the color accuracy and brightness on these displays? And quite frankly, it's actually pretty good. Like you have 100% sRGB, so the color gamut is there. They advertise a screen brightness of four to 500 nits. I measured 518, so it exceeded my expectations. And you also have a delta average of 0.9, which is really good for color accuracy. The displays themselves have a resolution of 2560 by 1600, so they're 16 by 10 displays, so you get a little bit more vertical space. It matches the resolution, or at least the aspect ratio, on the ASUS ZenBook Duo, and obviously a MacBook Air. Now there are three types of stands that they will be offering with this. There's the snap stand, which will basically allow you to place the Flip Go in a landscape orientation or vertical orientation, very similar to a regular monitor. There's also a Visa adapter that allow you to place it on an arm and have the actual displays float off of a desk to look a little bit nicer if you're using this for your home setup. There is a flex folio, which I don't have here, but it basically allows you to use it on the go with the actual folio instead of carrying a separate stand. But the crazy thing is there's four different modes for the Flip Go. You can use it in ultra view portrait, which basically allows you to use both displays as one giant vertical display. You can use it in ultra view landscape, which does the same thing, but in landscape mode, or you can use each monitor separately in portrait mode 
or each monitor separately in landscape mode. Now, depending on the type of work you're doing, one orientation might be better than the other. For example, I wouldn't use both displays as a giant display for watching video. Just because you have that bezel in the middle, some of the video gets interrupted, but using it as like a giant web browser is really cool. Like you just have so much vertical space to read content on. I think the most fun thing to do with it is actually watch like TikToks or shorts or reels on this giant display. It just looks really good on such a tall monitor. But honestly, pairing it with the Asus ZenBook Duo is just such a cool experience. Like four displays to use at the exact same time in a portable fashion is just really cool. Like something you couldn't do a long time ago. And the crazy thing about it is it's all being connected using one cable. Like that's the crazy thing. It's not like you're using tons of cables to make this work. I also decided to get a little creative and see if I can push the limits of this. So I added a sixth display by utilizing another JFlip Go for a total of six displays. And all I had to do was use one more cable by connecting it to the second Thunderbolt 4 port. Now, when you are connecting the J Socks Flip Go for the first time, it will automatically detect it. Like the laptop picked it up right away. The displays came to life. The only thing you'll need to do is go into the display settings and then orient where the monitors belong, just so you can move your mouse back and forth correctly. And obviously, if you're using it in portrait mode, you might have to change the orientation into portrait. Now look, you don't have to use it with a Windows laptop, like you can use it with a various amount of other devices, like I had it hooked up to my MacBook Air, but you can also use it with a Nintendo Switch. You can connect your iPhone to it if you want a giant iPhone display. If you have a Steam Deck, it will work with a Steam Deck, and obviously it will also work with an Xbox or PlayStation. Either way, I think it's a really cool idea. If you're interested in checking it out, along with a link to the product, I'll place that in the description down below. Also, if you have any questions about it, let me know as well. I'd be happy to answer them. If you liked the video, feel free to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.